What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a very, very cool team, yet strong at the same time that features Life Orb Kyogre and Dow Drive Genesec. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you definitely want to be a subscriber before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out so you can keep up with all of my content. But this team right here might actually be the last team I get to use in Series 13 before Series 14 comes out and kind of just pushes all the legendaries back a little bit. Well, you can still use like restricted mods and legendaries in Series 14. But it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to use like all of them, I think. Right? I think it's bringing it back to like series 12 before Scarlet and Violet comes out. So it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be awesome to rock out with them. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Zacian over here. Zacian has Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as item and ability. And then his moveset is the Quick Attack moveset with Iron Head, Quick Attack, Play Rough, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Venusaur over here with Chlorophyll and the Koba Berry. It's got Leaf Storm, Helping Hands, Sleep Powder, and Protect, but no Groudon on this team. So we got a Venusaur without a Groudon. I feel like the Venusaur is kind of there to counter up when opponents use Groudon. Then if they don't have Groudon, we can kind of just go into the Weather Squad. So kind of like that idea. I definitely do like that idea. Middle left is going to be our third Pokemon. It is going to be Raichu with the Lightning Rod and the Focus Sash, Fake Out, Volt Switch, Nuzzle, and Helping Hand for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon, it's going to be Weakness Policy Yveltal. Yveltal is already so strong, so let it proc its Weakness Policy. It can roll out strong and do some crazy damage. It's got Dark Aurora as its ability, with Snarl, Foul Play, Tailwind, and Oblivion Wing for its moveset. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Kyogre's. Pokemon is still OP, still dominant. Cannot wait to use them and just pop Water Spouts and win battles for no reason. <laughs> it's got Drizzle and the Life Orb and the Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be our Mythical Pokemon. It is going to be Genesect over download and the dash drive to change its techno blast to a water move the other three moves that it has is u-turn flash cannon and protect guys if you want to write this code for yourself not the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that series 13 ladder look to get some wins with this life orb kyogre and genesect team before we even hop into our first battle you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below is series 14 coming out or am, did I just hear some misinformation and just been thinking that Series 14 has been coming out for months now? Is there a Series 14? Because I looked up things online and there's nothing about Series 14, but I heard it multiple times across YouTube channels that Series 14 is a thing and it comes out November 1st. So if you guys know the real answer, let me know in the comment section down below because seriously, this whole month I've been thinking Series 13 is done on November 1st, but it might not be. I have no idea because I can't find anything online, but you guys got to help me out here. With that out the way, let's get started here. Battle number one coming at you guys. We're going up against Zacian, Regilecki, Kyogre, and then Indeedee, Dialga, and Yveltal. And this should be... Maybe we could just go straight in the water here. I mean, I could go Raichu, start Nuzzle, and grant some speed control that way. But he could also go, like, Indeedee and Dialga for, like, trick room purposes. But who do I want to go here? Raichu? I kind of dig Raichu. Raichu and Zacian's not too bad here. I don't mind it too much. I mean, he could go in with, uh... Indeedee, which I really do think he's going to do. So I might just go Kyogre, maybe Yveltal on top of that. That could be good. That could be lovely. It could be lovely. Actually, we can go Raichu and Yveltal. I really do like that. We'll bring Zacian and Kyogre in the back end. And we'll look to grab ourselves here a win and try to get strong, started strong on a uh, on a victory here. But he has a lot of different options he can lead. So can I. I have tons of different options I can lead. So that's, that's what the problem is with Series 13. There's just so much power. There's just too much power going on here. I can legit lead any of my Pokemon. They could do some work. But uh, let's see who he ends up going into. I think maybe Dialga and Indeedee could possibly come out here. Hi, Ogre and... Da -da -da. Indeedee. Okay, so he's going to double down with these two. I mean, he can go into Water Spouts here. Fake Out cannot come out here. I could start Nuzzling, which I think I might want to do. Does this Raichu have the Focus Ash? I believe it might. It might indeed have the Focus Ash. I could take some speed here, or I could just go into a nice little dark. It's up to me. I think I got a Dynamax, though. I think it is time to Dynamax. I do have a Lightning Rod. Um, I think it just drops a Water Move. But let me see something real quick. Let me see. Yeah, you have the Focus Ash. And I don't even think I need to... I'm going to Volt Switch out. I don't think Volt Switch is bad. Could help me hand this shot, but, you know, I'm going to end up Volt Switching here. Maybe taking off Focus Ash and kind of going from there. And then Dynamaxing and dropping Special Defense. Could be my best bet. Yeah, I'm all about dropping Special Defense. Your Special uh, Attack higher? I mean, let me see you real quick, Yveltal. Before I go into a move here, your Special Attack should be higher. 
it is indeed. It is indeed. So I don't mind dropping the 110 shot and dropping that Kyogre special defense here. Right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Send it after him. Let's get after it. But yeah, indeed, some some of them are focus ash, so I am just going to Volt Switch into that and save my fake out turn for later. But he might end up Dynamaxing the, the Kai over here. And I feel like I just swap into my own Kyogre. Let it soak up whatever shot I uh, that, that Kyogre has to offer. And then Airstream grants speed control for us. Let me kind of just go from there. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up going for the follow me. That's totally fine. So he's going for follow me water spouts. Really no big deal. I'm going to be able to Volt Switch out. Go into my Kyogre. Still have my Focus Ash, which is awesome. And then go from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Gene's all about it. <clears throat> so I'll go into Kyogre here. He might actually bring in uh, Zacian after this, which could be a problem. But at the same time, we can get some work done. So we'll go into our Ogre. We're going to go for Darkness here. This should take out NDD, no problem. And then drop the Special Defense onto the Kai Ogre. Beautiful. 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 We love it. We love it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so if I could just get off a nice little shot here. A nice little airstream, we can do some big time damage. But we know the Water Spout's flying here. We're just going to go for an Icy Wind. Okay. Actually, I'm fine with that. Because now my weakness policy is here. Now my weakness policy is here. So speed's gone for us. That kind of hurts. Icy went on Ogre? Icy went on Ogre? That hurts a little bit. That hurts just a tad bit. That hurts just a little bit, but hopefully he brings out anybody but Zacian. But I already know he's going to bring out Zacian, so it's going to hurt. Let's see. Yeah, see? Told you. Told you, told you, told you. All right, so from here, um... We just get after us, right? I think we just Origin Pulse. And then we just airstream. Try to get some speed back a little bit. Real weakness policy. Pop. So we might double down into me. We go for Behemoth Blade, which I think we should be able to soak up a Behemoth Blade. I think Yveltal does soak up a Behemoth Blade pretty well. Not pretty well, but still he's able to. Never mind. Never mind. This game stinks. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. He takes me out. No problem. He has terrain. He's going to go for a water spout here. And that's not going to take me out, but we are going to be able to get off an Origin Pulse. Some hefty damage, though. Can we land this Origin Pulse on the Zacian, please? Oh, that hurts, man. Behemoth Blade, way too strong. Way too strong. So we end up dropping this and doing some crazy good damage there, which I really, really like. Critical hit on the Kyogre, which is great. And then from here, what do we go into? From here, I feel like we just go into... Uh, I think we just go into an Origin Pulse, and then we go into a Behemoth Blade into the Ogre. Or Play Rough. We do have Play Rough. Oh, no, we don't have Play Rough. Wait, do we? Yeah, we should have Play Rough. I believe we do, but Origin Pulse is going to fly here. And I think we just go into a Play Rough here. I mean, we have speed. He's not choice. Play Rough can KO. Um, yeah, I think I'm cool with this. I think I'm cool with going in this. Maybe, I, I maybe should have went into a different move that has higher accuracy for Kyogre on the Zacian, but... I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. But hopefully our Zacian is faster than his Zacian just for later purposes. But he still has Dynamax, which is kind of scary. But he's probably saving it for his back-end Pokemon. The play rough flies. It does land. We have no problem landing it, thank the lord, because I usually miss the play roughs. And then hopefully the Zacian's going after my Zacian, which I would think would be happening. But we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, he goes after me. I should be able to soak that. 5 HP. Was that a crit? No, it wasn't a crit. That's just doing a crazy amount of damage. Then Origin Pulse Fly. So that's huge. So I'm trying to remember the Pokemon that he has. He could definitely have Regilecki. Right? Does he have, didn't he have Regilecki on his team? Because that would be the only Pokemon that would be faster than my Zacian. So hopefully he throws out somebody slower so I could just get it off a shot with my Zacian and kind of roll off from there. But let's see who he ends up bringing out here. It's going to be Dialga. It's kind of scary. I'm not even going to lie. That is definitely scary. Uh... Huh. Go for the freeze. Like, this kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. This kind of sucks. We'll go for the play rough. Protect's going to do nothing. We just kind of get off as much damage as we can. But he's going to Dynamax here. I do have Raichu in the back end. But what is Raichu really going to do? This thing has Quake. I can nuzzle it and try to hope that I can waste out some turns. That's pretty much it. It's going to be tough. This one is going to be tough. Hopefully, he takes out my Kyogre first. Because if he takes out Kyogre, then I can help him hand a play rough. Maybe try to get after it, but I'm due to miss a play rough soon. 
Nope, we land this one, which is pretty good. Do some nice damage there. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Can we get a freeze? Can we get a freeze? Give it to me. Iceberg him. Iceberg him. We do not. He's gonna end up going for a quick. Ah, oh, special defense boost is coming out here, and he takes out my sass, man. And he takes out my sass. Here. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Uh, I definitely got a nuzzle him, right? Definitely got a paralyze him. My choose here with the sash, man. He's here with the sash. Everything's not very effective, so I gotta gotta hope to just like get some paralyzes here. <laughs> this is rough, man. <laughs> I don't like this game. This is rough. Um. Yeah, I gotta go for an ice beam. Do I helping hand this shot? Or do I nuzzle him? I think I helping hand while Kyogre's on the field. Get off as much damage as I possibly can. Wow, yo, this battle's coming out to the wire. It is coming out to the wire. Helping hand flies here. Clap, 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 clap. He has special defense boosted, but still, helping hand should be able to neglect a little bit of that. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. And I died to orb. Oh, no. I died to orb. I would have loved to get off one more turn with Ogre. I would have loved that, but now we're kind of just hoping for RNG here. Because there's only one way we win this. If I nuzzle, he's paralyzed, and I'm able to just full switch KO. I need nuzzle. I need like two paralyzes back to back. I need two paralyzes back to back, but I don't see it happen. I really do not see it happen. I really don't see it happen. That's tough, man. That's tough, but that's actually took out my Yvelto and pretty much put him in a solid position. But look how close this battle was. All right, Nuzzle. We need you here, Nuzzle. Dang, yo. If Kyra could have soaked up that shot, we could have had an even better chance. Oh, we got a crit. Beautiful. We love that. And then we get the para. Come on, show me the paralyze. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's Dynamax. is gone. We can Volt Switch. We need, like, one more paralyze. We need one more paralyze. I don't think I don't think one Volt Switch can KO, but two Volt Switches. Two Volt Switches has, has, a, has a chance here. I'm going to Volt Switch out. Give me a crit. Oh no, we need like five volts, which is never mind. Never mind. Earth power flies through. Take the win. Take the win. GG. We go 0 1 for battle number one. Let's hop to our second battle. Look to go or look to grab ourselves our first win. Second battle coming at you guys. And this guy is rocking a really cool off meta team. He's got Regilecki, Heracross, Incineroar, Dragapult, and then Jinx and Tapu Finney. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? We're looking for our first win. I think weather is just on our side. So I could fully rock into Genesect and Kyogre, they're both special attackers too. So if he wants to lead Intimidate Pokemon, we can kind of just go from there. But I feel like I have to bring Raichu in the back end just in case he wants to bring Regilecki here. I can just swap it in there and roll out. And then last but not least, do so I go Zacian or... I think I might go Yveltal, just not even bring Zacian. I really like Yveltal in this situation. Eh, actually, it's eh. Zacian... Do I take out Raichu and just say screw the lightning rod? I think I do. I think I say screw the lightning rod and we just roll off from here. I'm all about it. We don't, we don't, we don't need you, lightning rod. We don't need you. Then Reg is gonna pop out. Oh, we need you, lightning rod. We need you. <laughs> but I wonder if he's gonna lead. I can definitely see Incineroar. I don't really know too much about the Jinx or the Heracross. I feel like Heracross is just a big physical attacker. So I'm not too worried about him. But the Jinx, I feel like the Jinx has something up its sleeve, right? The Jinx is looking scary. It looks like it has like a crazy combo that's gonna do. That's gonna screw me over, but. We'll see who he wants to lead. I feel like Incineroar or like Incineroar, Regilecki, or Dragapult's probably hits main leads. A combination of those three. I feel like Regilecki, or not Regilecki, I feel like Incineroar with either or of those could definitely be his lead, but you never know. You never know. We shall see. We shall see. We, we will see right now. But I don't even think I asked you guys a question of the day. That is, do you guys keep up with the leaks for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? For me, personally, I keep up with all the leaks. I love to know ahead of time what's going on. But I don't look at, like, spoilers or anything. Just the leaks. But I know some people don't like to look at the leaks. So, let me know if you guys are Team Leak or Team Not Leak. But he ends up leading Regilecki and Dragapult. That's a fine little combo. Um, huh. How do I play this one? I could go into the Ice Moon. Am I Dynamax Kyogre? I could protect the Ogre. I could definitely protect the Kyogre. I'm gonna Dynamax him just go straight into a Hailstorm. Then I'm just gonna go for Techno Bus. Or I could U-turn Pivot. I think Dragapult's gonna be the Dynamax Pokemon, right? I think they can eat both of them could Dynamax. It really depends on the Dragapult build. A lot of people have been building it on like the sp uh like the support side with like will o -Wisp, some screens, all that good stuff. Weakness policy, proxy moves, all that stuff. But 
Retrolecki is one of those Pokemon too that you can build with screens, have them just for speed control, have them do go for big damage. Like there's just multiple ways to build both these Pokemon. But we'll see who he Dynamax because he's got to be Dynamaxing someone, right? He has got to be Dynamaxing. And now I'm wishing I brought my uh, my Raichu. That might be what he's thinking right now. He might be thinking, do I have Raichu or not? But we shall see. I think this might be uh, Retrolecky, right? It's going to be Reggie. No, it's going to be Pult, which I'm totally cool with. I'm dropping a Hailstorm into that slot. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So he's probably e weapon slowing down even though he already has speed. I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. You don't mind it. And I do have Life Orb, which is beautiful. But we are changing up weather, which kind of sucks. But Genesec should be faster than Kyogre. We should be able to get off a nice, lovely uh, Techno Blast first. And get some nice damage on that at Reggie. We do have Quick Attack with their Zassian, which is really good. So if we can bring this uh, Retrolecky low enough, and he takes out, say, my Genesec, I can bring in my Zassian, Quick Attack, and kind of go from there. We'll see. He's going to Thunder Cage me. Just fine. I mean, we soak up pretty well. I don't think uh, Dragapult can take me out. Can he take me out? He's gonna go for an Airstream. Is that going after Genesec? No, he's gonna go after Kyogre, which we soak pretty well. Cool. So he's gonna take speed. He already had speed. I don't really thought think it mattered. I think he was better off going for a stab move there. But we'll see how this one plays. Hailstorm's gonna fly. I could guard next shot too. Hailstorm should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Beautiful, beautiful. We like that chunk of damage. We like that chunk of damage. Let me change up weather here. Oh no, Kyogre outsped my Genesec? Oh no. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. What is that? Citrus berry? Oh no, it's Kusap. No, it's not Kusap. Light oh it's a Likey? A Lychee berry? Oh dude, that looks so cool. That move looks so cool. Oh and we kill regardless. Yo, Genesec, let's go. Let's go. That's a big time KO right there. That's a big time KO. Genesec staying in high. I think I'm gonna guard my uh my Kyogre here and get rid of the get rid of that uh Dragapult wow we were still able to KO I love how the item is sitting on his head like you can like visually see the item which is hilarious I think it's awesome I think it makes it so much cooler like look at it the Douse Drive is just sitting on his head that's the item he's holding that'd be so funny if you were holding a Citrus Berry that a Citrus Berry is just on your head I think that would be so funny <laughs> I really would but uh from here I'm just gonna do a guard here yeah, I think it's just an easy guard. And we just Techno Blast, or do we? What would do more damage? Stab move? It does the same amount of damage, actually. This one's a water move. It's not very effective. So we go into Flash Cannon instead. We go into Flash Cannon instead, which is nice. But yo, that Techno Blast, I love the animation of it. And he's gonna guard too. Okay, so we're wasting turns here. So we'll see a double guard. Which I don't understand why he guarded. He had speed all day. I guess that's why I want to go for an EQ. I mean, that's cool. That's fine. Then sec soaks rather well. And Flash Cannon comes out here, which gets blocked. So I think I just double down the pull. Do I double down the pull? I mean, Buffets are really good for us. L Buffets. L Buffets. Okay, uh, he's burnt. Always oh, guts. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Um. Huh. Do I change the weather back? Do I really need anybody with water? Or do I have Yveltal on the back end? I have Yveltal. With Sucker Punch. Oh, you don't have Sucker Punch. Thought we did. That could have been nice. Could have definitely been nice. But, uh... Ch -ch -ch. I would rather change the weather back. I'm tired of these buffets. I'm gonna double down the pulled slot. Let's do it. We go there, and I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon. And we get after it that way. We'll see. He's going to want to airstream, get speed first, and then he might just close combat me. We died of that, right? Yeah. All right, so we go down here. He has speed. He's guts boosted. Um, hmm. Huh. Speed's in his favor. I'm scared of this little Heracross right here. This Heracross stuff is scaring me. And Genesec soak up so we can get a KO? No, you're not soaking that up. No shot. No shot. I think he's guts boosted. It's defense is down. Uh... Hmm. 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 We could go for a protect and maybe a tailwind turn. That might have to be my player. Protect into a tailwind, get some speed on my side, and then roll out from there. I think that's my best bet. I think that is my best bet. We need some. We need. We need some sort of speed here. So I'm gonna protect his ass and I, I'm gonna go for the tailwind. 
He could go for a Phantom Force, which could be good. Waste out a turn that way. And then have speed. But I think a close combat is just going to fly into my Sassoon, right? That just seems like the most the most prominent play. But again, if we can get the Sailman off, I feel like we can win this battle. I'm going to go here. Nice, lovely little protect. And I wish we did have Sucker Punch on this thing, but now we have to poke a Tailwind. But so I, th I feel like Tailwind's a play regardless. And I'm trying to think. If he if he goes into close combat, I mean, I don't think uh, Dragapult can take out my Yveltal. But if he goes into close combat into my Zassian, which we protect, we'll take speed next turn. I kind of go from there. And that is totally fine. That is totally fine. He protects Dragapult. As long as he goes after Zassian here. As long as you go after my Zassian. This one EQ. Oh, that's totally fine. That works. Yeah, this turn's perfect. This turn's perfect. Yeah, I figured he was going into Zacian, but he protected uh, Dragapult, which made it even better. Now we set up a Tailwind. Now I can Snarl for the KO onto the... Uh... Actually, do I even Snarl? I could Oblivion Wing. I feel like we might just want Oblivion Wing. We could go Snarl into a... I don't, I don't want to risk a play rough. I really don't want to risk a play rough. I feel like this is going to be our play. I feel like this is our play. Because we have speed. Now, actually, Dragapult... Does Dragapult outspeed my Zacian? It might. It definitely outspeeds my Yabelto. Because he's plus two. Heracross is plus one. We, we outspeed Heracross all day. But Dragapult's looking uh, like it should speed outspeed my Yabelto, but not my Zacian. What is this guy gonna do? This is such a good battle. We're having some good battles today. We're having some good battles. And actually, my Zassian outspeeds, which is huge. We're gonna be able to Behemoth Blade, which I think the KOs, right? Yeah. So that KOs that. Yveltal should be fine to eat up whatever Dragapult has to offer. And then Snarl should come in here. Oh, we outspeed regardless. Slow boy Dragapult over there. We take that all day. Now we're sitting in the hot seat. We're sitting in the hot seat to Tailwind play. Mwah. It was money. It was money. Smart play by us. We need to take speed control somehow. So we protected our Zassian. We went after my, my Zassian. He took the bait. He took the bait. We set up that lovely tailwind. And now he has to start out top of Finny. Which I'm just going to slap with a giant behemoth blade from a dog. And uh, win this battle. But I think it was so funny. They were thinking of legendary. So like, all right, hear me out. Hear me out, guys. Probably dude was drunk. He was probably like sitting there walking to the Pokemon office at like 2 a.m. after the bar. He was like, yo, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. I got the greatest idea for legendary. And he pulls up his little dog. He's like, yo, check out this dog, but put a weapon in its mouth. Like a weapon? Like a gun? They're like, nah, 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 nah. Throw a giant medieval ancient sword in its mouth. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, put it on. Let's do it. <laughs> and that's how that's how they created uh, Zacian. That is how they created Zacian, which I think is hilarious. That is exactly how. I swear, dude. I swear. But <laughs> Behemoth Blade, Oblivion Wing, take out the top of Finny. We win this battle. Great tailwind play from us. We are now sitting at 1 1. Let's hop to that third and final battle. Try to get you guys a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at 1 1. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Really cool team with our opponent. He has uh, Tornadus, Buzzwool, who I absolutely love, but definitely think it's very underwhelming. Then he has Kingdra, Deancey, Melt Metal, and Kartana. Okay, how should we play this one? How should I go into it? I could go Venusaur, but nobody's bringing ground on. So I'm just not even gonna bring Venusaur. I don't like him without the without the sun. He gets really no value. So I'm gonna go Zassian turn one. I think Zassian can just start ripping up. Actually, you guys seen plenty of Zassian. Let's go Genesect. Genesect Kyogre. I'm kind of digging it. Genesect Kyogre. We will bring Raichu in the back end, and then we'll just have Zassian. Right? Yeah, Zassian can get some work done on a lot of these guys. I'm all about the Zassian here. Zassian's super effective up against like two or three of these guys, and plus he can do big damage on the rest of them. Zassian just OP. It, he's just OP. But yeah, what's going to lead to Zassian just start slapping up on people? But I was just like, nah, nah, nah. We can't, we can't do that. We'll, we'll go Kyogre Genesect. We'll, we'll bring you some Genesect action. But he's going to go Melt Metal and Tornado. So we can definitely take easy speed control here. I could Dynamax, but I don't, really don't want to. I don't, I don't think I should. I think I just go into a uh, Water Spout here. And I go into a Techno Blast right into that Melt Metal. Because even with Tailwind, I feel like we still outspeed. I mean, he can go in the free hurricanes, which I'm kind of fine with. I just feel like we just get straight after that, uh, that Mel Metal. Mel Metal. We'll just go for Water Spout. Then this nice, lovely Techno Blast. Dude, it looks so cool. I love the animation. But it could Dynamax Mel Metal. That thing's a, thing's a beast. 
Nothing hits like a truck. That's why I want to double down into it. Because if it hits me, I am dead. I am dead. I am not surviving it. We are dead. Pokemon's way too strong. Definitely, I think it has one of the highest attack stats. Then give it a life orb on top of that. GG. GG. Plus, I really like it's a signature move. What is it? Double Iron Arm Bash or something? Something like that. And it hits like twice. I think it has double chance of flinching. It's like 60 power each swing. It's basically 120. But it protects for Nas. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yo, we're doubling down into your uh, into your Melmetal over here. Water Spout's going to fly. I think Water Spout might even just KO this thing. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kyogre's fun. Yeah. Good game. Good game. GG. Yeah. Turn off your console. Yeah. 2-1. Winning record video today. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. He's going to go Kartana. Actually, that Kartana's looking a little scary. So I'm going to double down on him. <laughs> I'm just going to go Techno Blast and Water Spout. Do I do that? Yeah. Let's do it. Techno Blast. Water Spout. Yeah. Even though it's not very effective. Kartana's a lightweight. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he does a Dynax Kartana. Then we could be getting into some action. And he's going to. We're getting into some action, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have the Raichu in the back end, which I don't mind. I mean, I can nuzzle. He can do some fake out stuff later in the match. But Zacian. I think kind of counters Zacian pretty well. But Behemoth Blade, after these Water Spouts and these Techno Blasts, should be able to KO. But he's going to go for an Overgrowth. He is going to take out my lovely little Kyogre. Kind of sad. His tail coming out here. He's going to straight up Hurricane. Hurricane into Kyogre, who eats. No ducks allowed, right? Oh, come on. I said no ducks allowed. You can't do that. You can't do that to me. He overgrows. That's fine. I was dead regardless. Ducks or no ducks. This Cartano was ripping into me. All right. I see. You want to you play that way? I'll play that way. You want to play that way? You want to play that way? You want to play with the ducks? Oh, wait. I have to Dynamax somebody. I just realized I'm not Dynamax of Raichu. I was you. Genesec, you're up, dude. <laughs> you are up. It's all you. You get the Dynamax. You get to do it. All right. He's going to get Beast Boost. He's going to get that Attack Boost. I'm gonna, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir, Genesect. That was <laughs> some big damage. Um, bump, bump, bump. Do I go in the Raichu here? I don't believe I do. I believe I go into the main, the myth, the legend, Zassian right here. I mean, I could have went into him just to fake out, but I feel like this guy, since he has a Tailwind, he's not gonna do it yet. I don't think he's going to tail one, so I'm just going to Behemoth Blade this slot, finish off that, and my boy's getting the Dynamax. We could go for a nice little Flutter Buy. Flutter Buy or Steel Spike? Uh, Steel Spike's going to do more. We'll go for Steel Spike. Granted, Defense Boost, too. Flutter Buy. I love that name. <laughs> Max Flutter Buy. <laughs> yo, did you just see Cartana? Did a little loop-de-loop -loop backflip there. I was like, hey, yo, killed your Pokemon, backflip. <laughs> That'd be so funny if, like, they added Fortnite emotes for Pokemon. Imagine your Genesex just kill somebody. That's the default dance. <laughs> I lose it. I think that'll make people rage more. Like, Kyogre Water Spouts just stands up. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> just starts default dancing. I'm, dude, that, that would make me punch my screen so much. Getting default danced on by a Kyogre. Like, come on now. Just for a Steel Spike, you might be able to eat that up. You do not! You are dead, kind sir. I don't like this one bit. We're, we're, I mean, I can nuzzle him next turn and just slow him down. That's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna go for Steel Spike here. I'm gonna get a defense boost. This thing is boosted. This thing's boosted. <laughs> He's going crazy. So I go for Steel Spike. This should KO, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did he tailwind there? I think he tailwind. He must have tailwind, right? How else are you outspeeding me there? You, sir, must have tailwind. So, I don't... Uh, we're going to have to guard here, right? We're going to have to guard here, and then... F <laughs> what am I... Yeah, I'm going to have to guard Nuzzle. Yancy, yo, that thing's sick. Yeah, we're going to have to guard here. Huh. I think the Yancy is physical. Uh, they, they must have tailwind, right? I, I must have missed it when I was talking about the default dances. Must have missed it, but I'm just going to nuzzle here. I'm going to put up my guard. I'm going to block here. Genesec's looking sick, dude. 
Best X looking sick. But yo, something I want to find online, which I haven't even checked out yet. Oh, he's going to max knuckle with the block. Beautiful. Something I want to find online. Hold up. Let me, let me, I'll tell you guys after this. He's going to Diamond Storm first. And my actually should be able to sit pretty well, which he does. And of course, oh, he, he said here, have a defense boost. Luckily, I'm special attacking on Genesec. But I'll be able to get off this nuzzle, which is going to be huge. Partana still might be faster, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But what I was going to say, something I want to find online is I want like an actual replica of Porygon made of glass. How sick would that be? Like get him like about this big, like a foot and a half, just sit him on the desk. That would be insane. It would look so cool because you know like the original Porygon, he's, 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 all, he's like a glass duck and he kind of has like little edges around them. It just looks so cool. I feel like somebody has to make that. Right? It makes the most sense. We're going to go from here. We are going to go for a steel spike here. I'm gonna get rid of Cartana. Cartana is a problem. Indeed a problem. He's gonna go for Diamond Storm. Which Raichu does not soak. Raichu says, yo, I'm dead. If I KO this uh Cartana here, can I outspeed the Cartana? I do not. Leaf Blade's gonna fly. Which we eat pretty well. The problem is, oh you get a crit. You gotta be kidding me. The problem here now is gonna be eating up this Diamond Storm, which we might be able to with all these defense boosts, because I'm pretty sure Diamond Storm's a physical attack move. How much positive it is. So defense is boosted, and Genesec might just be able to pop a what is it, a uh, flash cannon and take him out. How many turns left in Tailwind? Well, I feel like Genesec can outspeed Deante. There's one turn in Tailwind. I'll go for the protect. Actually, I could get some more HP back by, by protecting. Could definitely do that. But I think there might be one more turn left in Tailwind. Let's see. There is beautiful. It's an easy protect from us. Then we can roll from there. Then we can roll from there. And I'm definitely using Techno Blast here. I would rather use Techno Blast. It's a, it's it's the same amount of damage. They're both gonna be base 120. Because Flash Hand's 80 plus the 1.5 times stab multiplier. It's gonna go to 120. And Techno Blast is at 120. So I'd rather use Techno Blast here. I really would. The Techno Blast, let's run it. Right, yeah, and it looks a lot cooler. Looks 10 times cooler. So we're just going to Techno Blast. We're going to look for the win here. We are going to look for the win. Techno Blast coming in here. Yo, can my boy Genesec clutch it up? The man. The man. Genesec clutching it up here in battle number three. We go 2-1 for today's video, and we face some really cool teams. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. Absolutely rocked out with the Genesec squad. And got to use Genesec a lot, actually. We got a bunch of Techno Blasts off. We got the Dynamax in battle number three. And I feel like he was just OP in today's video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.